Today we continue our story around Time Leaf. This time we're going deeper into forms with Spring Boot and Time Leaf. We start an eclipse with the message class. In the previous video this was a record. We made it a class this time. With three fields. ID. Title. And message. Then we have the message service. Here we store the messages in a list. We have a list of messages. And two methods. Get messages. And add message. Then we have the new message controller. The first method is a get mapping and shows the form. The second method is a post mapping and receives the message from the form and stores it in the message service. Then it shows the results. Then we have the two HTML files. The message HTML is the form. The action message refers to the controller with the post mapping. The object message refers to the message class. And the fields to the fields of the message class. The submit button sends the data to the controller. And the rest button resets the form. The resulting HTML file. First we check that the list of messages is not null and not empty. And then returns a list of messages and two links. We can now start our project and view it in the browser. In the browser, we start with the welcome page. If we look at the message page, the list is empty. Back to the home page and the form link, we can create new messages. If we have posted a message, we go to the result page with the list of messages. Submit another message takes us back to the form where we create and post a new message. We see again the result page with two messages. Submit another message and post a third message. Return to the result page with a list of three messages. If we click on the link list message, we get a list of three messages. We have already created a working project with this little bit of code. Of course, the list of messages is empty when the project is started. So that's it for today.